important re-zero season three news mushoku tensei season two and omniscient reader which is another webtoon korean webtoon that it might be really hyped like solo leveling let's see what chibi has to say to re-zero related news to mushoku tensei related news and mm. even a mysterious anime that aniplex has been hinting Ooh, at for the past few mysterious. days there's quite a few things to really talk about in this video and so let's start off with the re-zero related news and i think right. anyone that has watched my channel and knows about what i like knows that re-zero is legitimately one of my favorite anime of all time it's kind of crazy how much hype re-zero has you know and like, we will watch it. There's a lot of people saying, when are you ever gonna watch ReZero? Trust me, I will watch it. I'm just waiting for a season three release date to be shown so that I can farm one video a day until that date. But Yojo Senki came out of fucking nowhere with 37 episodes and Studio White Fox decided to kind of push ReZero into, I don't even know, 2025, maybe late 2024. We'll be waiting. It holds a very special place in my heart because I really love the characters. It's just the writing is phenomenal and all the characters just really have some nice cohesion with each other. And even the new characters that were like introduced in season two just work very perfectly with the cast. And ever since we got this trailer dropped about nine months ago, hard to believe it's been nine months. Third season trailer dropped nine months ago, and still no fucking follow up. Since this trailer actually dropped, you know, people have been, you know, patiently awaiting any more information on ReZero, when it will officially come out, what date, etc. And I don't even believe we have an actual studio yet. Like, we have rumors oh. and leaks and assumptions that. I thought it was the same studio, White Fox. I thought that's the whole reason he even made a video like last time about how Yojo Senki is getting covered by Studio White Fox and it's taking these, you know, X and Y fucking directors and animators who are actually really important to the ReZero project throughout season one and two. So that's what we were using logical assumptions on why it's getting pushed back, but that's not the studio. And it is White Fox working on it. So yeah, I wanted to oh. quickly clarify. Yeah, so ReZero doesn't have an official studio. It's not confirmed yet, but it's most likely. Attached to it yet. So yeah, I was okay. just, I was making sure I wasn't putting my own foot in my mouth. But yeah, even at this point in time, after nine months, there has been no studio attached to ReZero as of yet. Once again, we can assume it's White Fox. Some people have even said it might be Studio Bind, the same studio that worked on Mushoku Tensei. Whatever the case may be, you know, we still don't know the studio. But, you know, we could assume that for how long it's been, how long it's taken for a potential more news and when it's coming out, you know, it seems like maybe Kadokawa is letting the studio cook, which is surprising, because usually Kadokawa just likes rushing things out the gate, so I'm happy to see ReZero getting treated a little bit more nicely than some of their other projects they kind of try to force <laughs> Such out. Such as what? Anyways, Such as like what? Let's get into the main meat Say of the topic of ReZero. So basically, earlier this morning, our favorite... ReZero confirmed by who is this guy? Is this a credible source? Whatever, who cares? ReZero will once again be getting a stage at Anime Japan. Once again at the biggest red stage. It is currently planned for 1025 to 11 on March 24th. Yusuke Kobayashi, all of these different voice actors are all gonna be there. So again, I think there was like a ReZero news last time. There was some kind of a conference and kind of, I don't know, uh, a presentation where people are expecting, are we gonna have news about season three content? And they're like, Yojo Senki! Favorite fellow ReZero translator slash leaker, someone that translates the, you know, the web novel of ReZero and the light novel. You know, okay. His team works on Incredible it, source. Okay. Translations. Love their team. They do great work, and I'm always happy to see a new chapter by them when it comes out and all that. I especially appreciate it. So, basically, we got information earlier this morning that ReZero will once again be getting a stage at Anime Japan, once again at the biggest red stage. The biggest! Now, give clarification of this, this is a huge, massive, like, convention just, you know, announcing yeah. anime and stuff like that. They did that. this last and year, too. Last year, in 2023, ReZero was also at the red stage. And because of that, we got this trailer, you know, and all that other information that came out. But no real estate. So we can assume since ReZero is going to be at the red stage again, there is going to be a lot more information given at this red stage. Most likely, if we could assume anything, it's 
probably going to be a new PV trailer, like, for instance, like, okay. uh, showing what they've been working on for the anime, to also probably showcasing maybe new characters, the voice actors, the staff, and yes, even the anime studio that is working on it, because that is a big one. That is something that is very important for any anime, is the studio and staff, and I feel like, looking at how ReZero Season 1 and Season 2 have been, you know, yes, there's people that can find faults in Season 1 and Season 2, saying that it's not perfect, there's problems with it, I thought it was really good. I feel like a lot of people don't really... Are, are, aren't people just... Like, isn't it just like praising? I haven't watched it, but aren't, aren't people just all just like hyping this shit up saying season one, season two is so good? Like to mention, yes, season two isn't perfect. Okay. But it was in the middle of a time period when COVID was running rampant around the world. And at that time period, it's amazing ReZero turned out as great of a quality product as it was. It is insane, hmm. honestly. It showed the level of dedication that Studio White Fox put into the project. But anyways, with all that being said, that's not as irrelevant, irrelevant as, you know, the current topic at hand, which is basically like, uh, you know, Season 3. So, Season 3, we don't know who's working on it, but we can only take an educated guess that White it is Fox. probably going to be the same team. They've already worked on Season 1, Season 2, and the OVA. What's to say they're not going to work on Season 3? Imagine they just get a completely new studio, they change all the character models, and people are fucking pissed off. Like, where the fuck is my Season 1 and 2 designs? You know, High School DxD kind of did that right with Season 4. I thought that the I thought that Season 4 animation and models were perfectly fine, but if, if it ever changes a studio, and like the character models that you loved is gone, people get upset. I think the perfect example of this is uh, The Devil is a Part-Timer. There's a huge gap between Season 1 and 2, right? The model for Season 1 is so crisp. Season 2 is fucking Microsoft Paint. What happened? Now, let's actually get into the studio. For instance, Studio White Fox. And let's, um, let's talk about what they've been actually doing. Because I think this is very important to kind of what's lay they doing? the groundwork and foundation for what's been happening. What they doing? So basically, Studio White Fox have been working on quite a few anime as of late. But one thing in particular that I want to point out is this Yo Yojo Senki. Right Sen <laughs> oh, sorry. It's called Yoko Sengoku. I've been calling it Yojo Senki. My bad. <laughs> Yoko Sengoku is the name. My bad. Yoko. Now, I haven't personally <laughs> sat down and watched this show. I'm going to be completely blunt there, and I need to. I need to dedicate some time to watch it, because I know the first episode came out a few days ago, as you can see here. But um, it's listed for... No! Boycott Yoko Sengoku! This is the reason why ReZero Season 3 isn't here out yet. Yojo Senki's Tanya the Devil? <laughs> why the fuck have I been saying Tanya the Devil is the reason ReZero isn't coming out, dude? Whatever, people are commenting about it. It's like, you're wrong, Actually. For 37 episodes, and from all I know about the series is, is that it's a completed work that's been completed for a very long time, and sadly, some tragic news associated with this. I believe the oh? author of the story passed away. Now, Jesus. I don't know if, like, exactly what happened or whatever, but that's what I've been told. I've been told that the author of the story is sadly no longer with us, and... That that's that's heartbreaking. That's Salute. legitimately heartbreaking if that is indeed the case. Bro was born in nineteen eighty. He's barely forty four years old this year. And he's already done. Fucking Japanese war culture, man. Shit fucking works you to the bone and you die. Same with Korean war culture too. A lot of webtoon authors, you know, illustrators, they all get chronic fucking, you know, pains. They all just get like, have to take long hiatuses. Their health is just declining. It's just such a shitty work culture and just their health is so bad. But um, with that being said though, I'm glad to see Studio White Fox kind of bringing to life a series that probably would have gone unnoticed for a very long time and giving some, you know, much needed love boo, and dedication. Boo! Yoko it. Sengoku, now, boo! Now, for this to be 37 episodes long, and apparently there's not going to be any split core with this, this does basically mean that White Fox... That means White Fox is going to be focusing not just this next three months of the seasonal animes. We're going to be going into the next season as well. So... January till end of March, right? Then we get April to fucking end of like August or some shit, right? Or I, I don't know. And, and then basically we need two more fucking seasonal anime slots for ReZero to then appear. But three seasons, actually. No, you're right. This is not two. This is fucking 30. This is not 24 episodes. This is 37. This is three seasons, actually. Jesus Christ. I'm just realizing this now. And, like, what is the likelihood of ReZero happening right after that, right? Really fucking low. 
at best, I think it would be three seasons of this shit, one empty slot so that they can prepare for ReZero right after, right? Which is, what, fucking next year, this time around? I don't know, man. This is going to be heavily booked for this entire year. I, I want to put this in perspective, okay? They're not apparently making the split core, so there's not going to be breaks. Yeah, back to back to back. Episodes, which back to back to back. that it's going to be three anime seasons long. So it's going mm. to go from this current season, which is winter of anime 2024, spring of anime Into 2024. Into spring. And then summer, Into summer. of anime 2024. And that then winter 2025. Entire year That's when we get that it? That Studio White Fox is going to be or working fall, on actually. this series consistently. Now, obviously, they might have separate teams and staff working maybe on other sh you know stuff on the side, like, for instance, ReZero. We don't know that yet, but what I'm trying to say and why this is relevant to ReZero is that because of how booked they are is probably why we have not really had an announcement yet for ReZero's anime, like when it's going to get released. So this comes into the big thing. When the red stage comes around to give us more information to ReZero when it's probably coming out. Yeah, that's still in two months. It's probably going to come out. If it is the earliest, it's going to be fall of anime 2024. Yeah. I still don't. Earliest. That's highly unlikely, right? Well, you're going to tell me they're going to do three fucking back to back anime seasons with that same studio using the same fucking artist, directors, illustrators, animators, all, all that. The team that worked on ReZero has been working there. And then you expect them to suddenly just. Pull ReZero Season 3 out of their ass, out of fucking nowhere. Probably not. They could have some other people working. They could have a different studio as so well. We could be outsourcing. There's different things that we could be doing to work in parallel with fucking Yoko Sengoku or whatever with ReZero. But the likelihood of this shit coming out right after into fall 2024, highly unlikely. Most likely it's going to come out in either winter 2025, which still might be a little bit too early. And... If not that, then I'm expecting spring 2025, which is a year and basically roughly three months out, which is bad news for you guys, ReZero enjoyers, but it is the best possible news for me as an up and coming YouTube reactor that is currently in the growth phase, exponentially growing each day. So because right now, if I farm ReZero, I'm not going to get the same level of viewership as I would get if I farm ReZero next year. This, this content brain, but yes, it is unfortunate news. I'm very sad that ReZero is getting delayed. Yeah, sure, I'm very sad. I don't think it's going to air this year. I don't. I, I really don't. I feel like if there's going to be a time period when it's going to air, it's going to air at the beginning of 2025. That That yeah. is the earliest I think it's going to air. Now, once again, it could happen. I could be putting my own foot in my mouth, but I do think hey, that is probably what's going to happen, judging by how booked they are. Now, this could be completely irrelevant, and maybe it changed hands to a different studio, like Studio Bones, Studio Bind, Trigger, whatever, maybe. and White Fox is no longer working on the series. Hey, now, maybe. That is indeed a possibility. That's fearful. Like, I have a little bit of fear about that. Yeah, that means that you're going to have completely new models. They might just fuck up the entire direction of, of how you, you know, received ReZero in the past, and everyone's going to be fucking mad. Here's the thing, right? People... Don't know what they want because some people are like, no, we want ReZero right now. Do you know what that implies? That implies that you're going to get a rushed work. It might not be exactly what you're thinking. You're wishing for something that you actually don't want. You want them to take their time and not release a rushed product. But uh, regardless, you know, that is also a possibility. So food for thought on that one. Now, that's all the information we got on ReZero. Now, moving okay. on, we got MT. Mushoku Tensei. Mushoku we are going to be getting, you know, more information on Mushoku Tensei. It's going to have a bigger stake. <laughs> it's also getting the biggest one. <laughs> the red stage. Yo, what is this? In Japanese, you know, anime convention culture, this red stage is such a big deal, huh? <laughs> it's like, look at this. Mushoku Tensei will also be getting a stage at Anime Japan. And unlike last year... It's also getting the biggest one of the lot, the red stage. It makes it sound like this red stage is such a prestigious, important, you know, um, I don't know, reward, right? It's like, wow, you're on the red stage for Mushoku Tensei. That's amazing. Age and all that for the red stage that it had last year. Most likely, if I had to assume, this is going to give us a new trailer for part yeah. two of season two. Let's but go. Also, it's probably going to give us more information on maybe where they want to take the story. Because it's already. Yo, why isn't reincarnation? as a slime is season three getting its place on the red stage what the fuck is slime the slime not have that clout it's been established by the team with that's working on mushku tensei that they want to adapt the whole series so maybe they might hint at already a season three or a continuation after season
Season 2 is already over. That is indeed a possibility. They'll probably also talk about the game that's being worked on. That's probably going to be a big focus of it. So, yeah, that is also some inform information to kind of think about. Now, cool. moving on to the next one, we got Aniplex with this mysterious mm. project codename. Omniscient Reader. This is another webtoon. I think during the peak of solo leveling, when I was like, um, I don't know, it's like r, r slash fucking manga in the subreddit. You sometimes I just scroll by to, to see what's kind of popping. I always see solo leveling at the fucking top of the charts. And then I always also see Returner's Magic Should Be Good, which actually had an anime season, by the way, last season, that none of you probably watched because you have no idea because they did no marketing. That was actually pretty popular too, but I think it kind of fell. This though, the Omniscient Reader, is another super hyped webtoon from Korea that we might get an anime pretty soon, man. Oh, they also have another one called like M or whatever, and they M? seem to be completely different projects. Uh, oh, Some okay. people are thinking that the, the Project M one that There's they two. Kind of leaked or hinted at like a few days ago is potentially more Monogatari. Now, that's a possibility. Some are saying this new Monogatari season. Wait, wait. I mean, we haven't even fucking seen Baki Monogatari on this channel, but that's kind of huge, right? Could be entirely Monogatari related because the wow. font is very identical to Monogatari. <laughs> They're using the fucking font. It's like fucking Reddit detectives are like, hmm, according to my calculations, this font is exactly this one, which is used in Monogatari. Therefore, new Monogatari season confirmed. <laughs> Maybe. So th that is a possibility. However, I, I don't want to talk about too deep into this because I work with Webtoon. But what? There is a Chibi got insider information. I didn't know he worked with Webtoon. That's huge. Webtoon is like, if you guys don't know, the official website, like... In Korea, like, yes, there are websites like fucking Kiss Manga and Manga Panda, you know, and fucking, you know, all your other pirating manga websites. But Korea has um, an official website called Webtoon, which is why I'm a little bit confused that you guys keep calling Soul Leveling and other shows Manhwa. Because to me, as a Korean person, Manhwa implies that it's a fucking black and white ink cover book, you know. Webtoon is more modern, colored scrolling view that you would literally see from the website Webtoon. And then there's like coin system and they do early access, just like my Patreon, you know, so that if you want the next couple chapters ahead, you better pay up. You know, it's that kind of monetization system. A potential possibility that this is uh, Omniscient Reader. I think everybody at this point has probably seen it, so I'm just going to mention it. But mm. uh, there was leaks that Omniscient Reader is getting a Oh, anime. shit. And so with that being said, it's entirely possible that this also could be implying that Aniplex has picked up, for instance, Omniscient Reader. Yo! And why is this relevant? Well, let's talk about that. So basically, if we go to Soul Leveling here, which it's is... Fucking up, like, it's fucking hype. As we know, Soul it's Leveling hype. is currently airing this anime season. It's yeah. very popular, one of the favorite or the most popular was of all time if they do the same kind of advertisement and promotional trailers for omniscient reader i think with the name like that and based on the numbers that i was seeing in the past when both were airing simultaneously together i think that omniscient reader could be also just as hype they could also butcher it if they don't do a good advertisement job and promotional effects like uh the returners uh the, the ma returners magic should be special you know that webtoon People absolutely love the series. It may not be perfect, but it is popular for a reason. So mm -hmm. the anime that is obviously currently coming out and all that, it is, um, let's put it this way. People love it. People absolutely love soul leveling to death. They, they want, you know, to see where the series is going to go, how certain fights are going to be adapted. But basically, we know that Aniplex is one of the producers, a part of it. As you let's go! Let's go, no Toho! Let's fucking go, and fuck Toho! It makes a lot of sense that this potentially could be hinting at Omniscient Reader. Now, once again, this is speculation, this is rumors, but it is possible. It could be something else entirely, an anime original project, whatever, but there has been leaks as of late in the past week that Omniscient mm. Reader is getting an anime. So, insider information. So, I guess I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much. Y'all know what to do. Please go give Chibi's videos a like, sub to his channel. He always gives us great insider information about what's going on. Personally, about the ReZero news, it's unfortunate for you guys, the consumers, the ReZero fans. It sucks for you that you have to wait another year. For me, again, it's the best possible goddamn news I can get. Please delay it even more so I can grow more as a channel so I can farm more of it in the future. Omniscient Reader, I hope it does well. 
I know that it's super hype. And honestly, I'm realizing there's a trend in not just anime, but also kind of like um, Netflix, you know, other shows like that too. There's a lot of Korean media that's getting pumped up, huh? Webtoon animes are the fucking meta right now. Well, Tower of God is also another popular webtoon that had an anime a long time ago though, right? But now the fact that we're getting other names like Solo Leveling and potentially Omniscient Reader it makes me pretty hyped about what could happen in the future of the anime industry moving forward.